looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Saturday Legends. going to be going over some updates and a little bit of stuff with the playoff promo. Now, as you guys do know, the playoff promo did drop yesterday. Now, been a little bit of a weird time because I know Cradle is going through some issues. So, as far as updates, you know, we're not going to be getting them, like, directly from the source. We are getting them from him in a way, but with everything going on, you know, it's not our typical format. Which kind of sucks after going through like a week or two without having the whole stream going on because of Christmas and holidays and now still dealing with some issues. But of course, these are not controllable issues, so it's completely understandable. But even so, moving on. First off, guys, we got the playoff stuff. Now, what sucks with the playoff stuff is that the playoff promo is still kind of broken. Now, I'll get into that in just a second, guys. Before we get into today's video, go down below, like the video, comment down below, turn on the noti bell, subscribe if you have not already. And of course, if you need coins for the playoff promo or anything else, Cut it over to my reserve down below. You will see the link in the description. Use code Poodle for 30% off your order. Now, here's the thing. Now, Steve Smith looks awesome, right? Now, let's come on to the blocks. Go check him out. You know, it, it, it's been kind of rough, to, to say the least, for the most part. Because we were excited for this playoff pro, right? They kind of hyped it a little bit toward, like, like last second. It, it was pretty hype. There were some good players dropping. But... You cannot buy Steve Smith. And why is that, guys? It has been 24 hours of playoff promo, and the playoff promo is broken. You can still not get a Steve Smith because they have broken the playoff promo. Now, you know what I mean? I, I don't want to wanna, wanna talk bad because I understand there is an aspect of coding and the back ends, all this. I get all that. But when packs don't work and they are losing money quickly, they get their best guys on it. That is fixed in minutes. When we our promo doesn't work, our, our ability to enjoy the game doesn't work. They take their time. Because their money, their, their pocket's not moving. They're probably still making money. People are probably opening playoff packs right now. Like, this is the problem. The problem is that even with that going on, people have no problem with this bundle. Or anything else. That's the issue. Now, I don't know when they're going to fix this. Now, if you guys know what I mean by broken, what I mean is this. Going over to sets, NFL playoffs, we don't even have player sets. Like, we don't even have a master set. You guys know the issue that uh, had, ar has, had arisen yesterday was that when you went to do the C. Smith set, you were able to put in your Aeneas Williams, your Leroy Glover, or your um, Eddie George. Like, any of your team captains were able to go into that set. It would take them. Now, my first initial impressions was like, oh, it's just one of those things where it's just glitching. Like, it says plus you can add them, but you can't. I added my Nias Williams. I'm glad I've got it out. I got him out before. I, I feel like maybe it would have kicked him back to my team anyways, but not sure how that could work now. I don't know if they'll probably make right. Some people actually did the set and didn't give them to you. So I really don't know how this is going to be handled. I really don't know what the protocol on this is, but I do know that that's probably part of the reason. why. They, but again, they could put the set back and then fix everyone's issues after. I mean, if they keep waiting, they're going to pretty much ruin the playoff promo essentially because like most players that come out of master sets are good for that week or two three weeks while, while while they're the master but if you keep waiting any longer we're gonna have team of the year and suddenly steve smith may not be as usable i mean he'll still be good but we're gonna have team of the year playoffs team of the weeks 14 15 16 17 like actually especially because of the fact that they already dropped it kind of late the playoff promo and we don't have our master i mean they'll probably drop more in this promo i mean it's probably gonna be a bigger promo than just this i hope at least and if it is and i guess that makes up for it a little bit but still anyways Let's move on past this, guys. This is still glitched. So I hopped on this morning hoping to make a set video. And it's very clear that there is no set for me to do. Now, it kind of sucks. It really does. Now, let's go check out real quick. Before we get into the legends, I want to check out one thing. The prices of these heroes are going to be impacted by this, guys. So I wouldn't really touch heroes just yet because the heroes should be impacted. Either A, well, I mean, they could be super cheap because people know that there's no set to put them into. Or they could be super expensive. So 321 for DK. I can't say that's like a crazy value. I mean, like, these are just like decent prices. Once there's a master set, they may come down in value, may go up, but that's going to impact it. If people are going to, okay, honestly, they may go up initially because people are going to start rapidly trying to make the Steve Smith to go get them on the block. So honestly, if you could pick up some like some Trubisky's or whatever the cheapest ones are, you could pick them up for like 288 or like 250, 260. You can get a few uh, considering, I mean, well, I wonder if you only get back Nat the ones you put in or you get back Nat, um, what's it called? A fantasy pack. If it's a fantasy pack, buy the cheapest one. If you guys remember it and you you know for a fact that it was only the ones you put in, get the best ones. Get yourself like a DK, um, like you know like a Marcus. 
Get yourself a few good guys. Award. Oh, Rams. You get a few of them. Because the second that that set drops, people may be ready. Now, I doubt people are ready on to check because people don't just buy cards usually. They're going to just wait until the time of. That's about it for that, guys. Let's get into the new legends real quick and go over that. As for the first legend for today's Saturday drop, we have Mark Clayton. Now, Mark Clayton was the early Madden legend. Like, Mark Clayton was that guy. It feels like forever since we've been, we were praising Mark Clayton. He was at 86 overall, like Team Diamond. You guys don't remember him. He was kind of one of the early Madden goats right there. He was like the new Tyree Kill for a little bit. And then we got Tyree Kill upgraded a little bit as well. I remember he had the um, deep route running threshold over 90, which was like, that's when we were really learning this shit. That, like 90 route running was going to be a big deal in route running in general. And you couldn't run a deep post or you couldn't run any deep kind of developing route without having 90 deep route running and actually being successful. Now this is Mark Clayton. Remember, hey, this card is the LTD, so he is powered up already. That does say a lot about what you're going to have to do with him. 95 speed, 94 jumping, 93 catching, 96 catching traffic, 96 spec, 95 short running, 95 medium at running, 96 deep. So I would recommend play fake on this card because you will get max medium and, deep and short running. Um, or you can go go deep and get max spec and max deep. But at the end of the day, guys, this card is really good now. I do I do wish the speed got to a 96 considering he was fast on his first card. So I kind of, he was like one of the fastest cards on his first card. So I assume that the speed would kind of carry over like... Kind of like how they build off cards. So, you know, if he was one of the fastest on his first card, he should be one of the fastest on his next cards, too. Now, he's one of the fastest, but, you know, we just got, like, we have Randy, we have Metcalf. You know, we have a few good receivers right now that already hit that speed at 96. So, it would be nice to see one more. But, nonetheless, Mark Clayton's still really good. All The only issue is that, you know, that's what ruins Madden ultimately a little bit at times is the thresholds. Because back in the day, it's like, oh, my God, Mark Clayton came out. Like, he has one speed less than Randy, but his route running's plus five. So, Mark Clayton's better. Uh, he's plus five on everything. That's not how it works this year, you know, or that's not how it's worked recently, right? And they, they got to bring that back. They got to they gotta bring back, like, sim-style ra uh, ratings. Because, yes, the reason that they do this, for all guys, I mean, the rating system is what it is. Not much we can say about it, but I hope they do bring that back. Because back, I, I just remember back, there was, that's when speed didn't matter as much. Because at the end of the day, the guy could have 96 speed with only 90 route running all around. But if you had 95 speed, you know, like, a one less speed, but he had max route running. It's like, it's not, it's night and day, right? But whatever. Enough of that. Let's get into the next guy. Next, we got Eric Weddle. Now, I was not expecting to see him. Have they been a little bit more fun with the legends this year, giving us like very, very close legends, like you know, not legends yet per se. Like, I always thought that was kind of a threshold, like years after retiring to be a legend. And typically, legends like weren't recent retirees, but Eric Weddle, that's definitely a cool card, especially on the Chargers. Looks super cool 94 speed, 94 excel, 97 tackle, 95 play rack, 94 pursuit, 90 man, 96 zone, and 90 hit power. Now, this car will get 99 zone. He will get 99 play rec, and he has good speed. The card's not bad at all, honestly. I like it. He's super fast. He won't get that 95 speed, though, which is what a few of the new guys on the playoff run just got. But 99 zone, 94 speed with good hit power. Eric Weddle's going to be a beast. They typically don't give Eric Weddle good speed, though, so, or even the greatest hit power. So, honestly, considering the stats that he did get, that's pretty good regardless. But, I mean, the Eric Weddle's okay. He's good. I wish he had 95 speed, but, again, people will find a use for him. Zone scheme, koala, safety. I forget how tall he is. I know he's not super short. I know maybe he's like 5'11 to 6'1. I know he's not super tall. But I know he's not super short. Happy they gave him good stats, though, because they used to ruin Eric Weddle in the past. Game. I guess because he was in the older parts of his career. They would have ruined him. They would give him low speed, low hit power. He would have pretty good zone, usually, but just too slow to even really use. But it is cool to see him back getting good cards again. Uh, you know, he was a beast in the Chargers. Moved around a lot after that, but still, that's what the legend card is. But, guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what's going on. If you guys do any coins for the new legends or for some of the new playoff cards, head over to Mutt Reserve and use code Poodle for 30% off. Thank you guys so much for watching. For the rest of your day, I'm out.